in today's session of Divorce Court. Veronica Mack says she has good reason to trust the word of her child rather than the word of her husband. My two-year-old said that she saw her father kissing another girl, pulled down her panties. May I say something, Yana? Ooh, you got a lot Yana. to say. Did you have a woman in the house in the kitchen? No, Yana. Never. Never, Yana. Now she says one lie too many has ruined the marriage. I was five months pregnant and five months married. He's upstairs. I'm upstairs in the bedroom asking the girl could he come and stay tonight. How did you know he was talking to a woman? Why would you ask a man that we still got a black dress and you look sexy I in I never it? said nothing like that. I work eight hours, maybe ten hours a day. So, first of all, where do I get a chance to cheat? Is that your best defense? Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor. That's my best defense right now. Today, it's the case of Veronica Mack versus Andre Mack in this session of Divorce Court. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Andre Mack versus Veronica Mack. And I'm advised that after three and a half years, Mrs. Mack, you're ready to end the marriage. And why? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I'm ready to end the marriage because my husband is a lying, cheating, adulteress. Um, my two-year-old told me that he saw her, that she saw her dad kissing another he's, woman. Wait a minute, you said he's an adulteress. Adulterer. Oh, so he could, you're not talking about yourself, right? No. Your Honor, I've never cheated. My two-year-old said that she saw her father kissing another girl, pulled down her panties. That's Woo! a lie. I found used tampon in my drawer in my kitchen. Oh, kind no. Kind of please, please don't tell me that. That's, that's a, stole. That's a oh, lie, that, Your Honor. No. That's a lie, Your Honor. That's a lie, Your Honor. That could be hers. Mr. Mack. Mrs. Mack, did you say? Yes, I did. A used? Yes, I did. In my kitchen drawer. In the kitchen? In my kitchen drawer. No. So that's and obvious to me that old... someone has been Wait in my minute. house. Wait a minute, your two-year-old told you this. Yes. Your Honor, no, that's Be a lie, Be quiet, Mr. Mack. My two-year-old pointed to the girl. What, you're in the street somewhere? You're out we somewhere? We were going to the store. Right. And my two-year-old pointed to the girl and said her name. And pulling down her underwear? That's what my two-year-old said. In the kitchen. Yana, may I say something, Yana? Ooh, you got a lot Yana, to say. Yana, may I say something? You sure? Don't put your foot in your mouth now. I'm sure I'm not gonna put my foot in my mouth. She is lying, Yana. What That's gives all her... you have to say is no, she is lying. What gives her, her the audacity to say that I'm doing that in front of my own two-year-old daughter? If I'm gonna cheat, why would I do it in my own house? Now, you know knowing, what? Knowing that's not that, a good question. Would, excuse me? That's not a good question. I'm saying that it's not, that's not, that's not true. She's making the whole story up. That's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. Yeah, she's making the story up. I had no recollection to what that story about until today. She never confronted me with that. Your you Honor, never heard your two-year-old say... Never, Your Honor. And this is the first knowledge you have? Yes. He lies very well. Yes, Your Honor. She well, according to him, you lie very well. He lied yes, very well. I was five months pregnant, five months married, okay? He's telling his um, son's mother, you still got that black dress you had? You look sexy in that. He gonna tell me that work was sending him out of town, Your Honor. The work on the, um, the work in the restaurant at this party he was having, he told the girl, oh, don't worry about her. I made up a story how I'm gonna get out. That was his way of getting out. I'm how right do you know all that? Because I'm downstairs. Oh, you yeah, had really good ears. I have really good ears. <laughs> I came upstairs and confronted him. The girl called me back. Wait a minute, so he's on the telephone? He's on the telephone. At no. home. Be at quiet. home. I was five months pregnant and five months married. So he's down, he's and upstairs. upstairs in the bedroom, asking the girl could he come and stay the night. And this, that, and the other. Okay, so, the and girl you can hear this conversation. Me. Yes. How did the, you know he was talking to a woman? How did yes, you know he was talking to a woman? How would you know? Because I was why to would a woman? you ask a man that we still got a black dress and you look sexy? I in? never said yes. nothing like that. Your Honor, I never Your said Honor, nothing like that. Your Honor, the woman like called me I, at my house, okay, and told me what he said. He from there, oh, I ain't say this and this, that, and the other. I ain't say this. He called her back and said, Did you tell my wife so and so? She said, Yeah. He said, Okay, bye. And go tell me, she lying, she lying. Yana, she, she, Just like he's doing now. Yeah. Like I'm lying. Mr. Matt. Yes, Yana. Everything, but I want to get back to 
the two-year-old observing like, you in a state of... Like mm, I said, Your Honor, that's something That's she, a lie. That's something she's making up. Did you have a woman in the house in the kitchen? No, Your Honor. At any time? No, Your Honor. Never. Never, Your Honor. That's right, All right, what about the, the conversation, conversation on the telephone? Your Honor, I believe my wife has two personalities, Your Honor. Two personalities? I said she has two personalities, Your Honor. Explain that. I'm explaining that because a lot of days... And keep your eyes on me. A lot of days, Your Honor, yes, ma'am. A lot That's of days... That's all right today, right? I don't care where he keep his eyes at. All I'm right. finished with him. A, a lot... <laughs> right. A lot of days, Your Honor, I work eight hours, maybe ten hours a day. So, first of all, where do I get a chance to cheat? I catch the bus to work straight where from work. Where does he get a chance yes, to cheat? Yes, Your Honor, can because I Because you work case? eight hours and ten hours a day. Yes. Is that your best defense? Where do I get the time to cheat? Mm, yes, Your Honor, that's my best defense <laughs> Your right Honor, now. can I say something? Yes, Your Honor. Your that's, Honor. Yes, Your Honor. No, that... Yes, Your Honor, because I'm not, not, I'm not cheating on her. Oh. Maybe she's cheating on me. So, you're saying that she didn't hear this conversation? She didn't never... I, this is my first time hearing so about this. So why you say she has two personalities? What's what's the other personality? One minute, Your Honor, she, uh, I come home, maybe the house is clean. The second moment, I understand she has a few children that need to play and the house get messed four up. Babies. What do you mean she has a four few babies? Chi well, Hold four on a babies. second. What do you okay. mean she has a few children? Well, we have a few children That's together. That's how it always is. They my okay. kids. All right. Your Honor, no, no, Miss Mac, let me finish. I'm, I want I this second talking? personality. Okay, now there's two personalities that. She never remembers anything. She seems to remember these conversations Yeah, well, she well. remembers what she wants to remember, Your Honor. She remembers what she wants to remember. So what do you mean she never remembers anything? She never anything? remembers anything. For example, I gave her money to go buy me a trans pass because I take the bus to work to leave her her car, which she paid I'm for. That I paid Yeah, that she paid for. Well, I okay? was pregnant. Okay, but I take the bus to work. I put gas in that car to make sure she can take the kids to doctor's appointments and what have you. Mm -hmm. You understand, Your Honor? And she can't remember to buy your bus pass? And she can't remember. I give her money to buy my bus pass. I come home, ask, where's my bus pass at? Oh, it's in the back room. Well, can you go get it, honey? Well, I thought you said she couldn't remember. I'm saying, can you go get it, honey? Oh, I don't know where it's at. So I'm that's paying, the two personalities? I'm paying, wait a minute. I'm not finished, Your Honor. All right. OK? And, and a lot of days when, she come, when, I, when I come home, one day, my house is nice and clean. She maybe cook a meal. Okay, I cook at work. I come home, I gotta cook again. And so you cook for a living? Yes, I do, Your Honor. All right. And I come home, I gotta clean. She's filthy, Your Honor. She might like to live in dirt. She called me a clean freak. Yes, Your I Honor, am a clean freak. I have a few babies. He take their toys, pick them up, lock them in the basement. He don't want them playing with their toys. You gonna have to step over some toys to come to me. I have twin boys that are one. I have a two year old, Your Honor, and I have. And I have a four-month-old. She'll be five months soon, okay? It's nothing but toys all over the floor. But to him, that is filthy. When Divorce Court returns, Veronica and Andre argue over their children. They have plenty enough clothes that I provide for no, them. No, excuse me. He don't buy, he don't buy no clothes, Your Honor. When I use a condom, she takes it all. That's why we have so many children. Are you involved in a dispute with a neighbor, friend, relative, or business person? Take your case to a new court show and be represented by a prominent attorney. Call 877-777-0099. Divorce Court is back in the case of Veronica Mack versus Andre Mack as they argue over their children. For safety reasons and because of the fact that you have four children and you can't pick up everything. And that may be why sometimes you come home, your house not clean, Mr. Mack. Yes, you should have thought about that when you keep producing four children that you weren't going to have a clean house. Yes, sir, yes, Your Honor. I understand we have he wants four the house children. To look like we but don't it's not have all no my children mistake. When I use a condom, she takes it all. What do you say? Yes, when I use a condom, she takes it all. That's why we have so many children. You trying to explain that you have four children, not because you wanted to? No, Your Honor. Now, you said when you try to use the condom, she would take it off. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, so you did, she didn't enjoy that? No, I didn't. And Miss Mack, you didn't use any other form of protection? No, I didn't. All right. Okay, I can't so get the, my two Hold on. He was uh, advising me a vasectomy. All right. So the two of you had children, and obviously you had them irresponsibly. Both of you are to blame. 
And I don't want to hear the fact, neither one of you, you know, you both had them, you're responsible. There are a lot of ways to prevent it. You didn't figure it out, they're here. Because they're here, your house is not going to be spotless all the time. I understand that, ma'am. But, Miss Mack, let me just suggest to you, and yes. you, Mr. Mack, that you need to teach your children how to pick up toys when they finish playing with them and put them in a safe place. I because do. coming into the house and having to step over toys or even them stepping over toys could cause injury to one of you <laughs> or the children. Honor, For that reason, you need to try to teach them to pick them up and not leave them in the floor. My kids be dirty, Your Honor. I understand they're children, but how can you get dirty in a clean house? How can you get your dirty? Uh, excuse me, you say a lot of days your children are uh, dirty. Dirty, yes, Your Honor. What do you I, mean dirty? Dirty, like she don't give them a bath, you know, Your Honor. She don't give them a bath, you know what I mean? I come home, a lot of days my, my kids just look like they've been running up and down the street when they haven't been outside. How do you know they haven't been outside? Because I know because they got the same clothes on that I left out with. And they can't go outside with those clothes on? Because there's a law that says you can't go outside with the same clothes no, Honor, that you had can, on when daddy left I, home. I feel as though if they was outside, they should have came in, she should have changed their clothes. They have plenty enough clothes that I provide so for them. So when you don't know, Your Honor, excuse me. He, excuse don't me. Buy, he don't buy no clothes, Your Honor. That's a okay. lie. Hold he on. only bought shoes one time. Does Most he survive? No, Your Honor, okay? That's he gives me lie. $20 a week to run the house. For what? He may need For the whole household? To run the house. And what are you supposed to run and I purchase suppose, with that? I suppose to get laundry detergent, okay? And when I tell him I need well, laundry I detergent, I he tells you. me no until he needs his uniforms washed. Then all of a sudden he got money for so it. So you're supposed to buy all the household supplies? All household supplies, okay? And From what about the children's clothing and what they need? He don't give me money for the children's clothing. My twins need shoes now. All right, what about since you've been separated? Has he given you money for other than the $20 a week for household supplies? Twenty dollars. We go. He did give me thirty dollars one time. So since you've been yeah. separated, that's the most you've gotten from him. That's what I get. I want. So you're 120... not getting anything on a regular basis. I'm not getting anything on a regular basis. I don't want nothing for me. I want money for my kids. Not full as though my and children deserve a hundred and twenty-five dollars a week for my babies. For our babies. For our boy, he keeps telling me they my kids. I don't care what he keeps telling you. I'm telling you they're our babies. All right. They're our babies. All right. Now what about that? Now, she's saying that $20 a week when you were living together, and now it's nothing. What's, what, tell me about that. That's, that's not true, Your Honor. When I get paid every week, Your Honor, I might come home and give her $20 for herself to get her little nails done. But she's not counting on the little... <laughs> yeah, well, maybe they, she hasn't got them done to prove a point. Okay? They don't look too well today. They, I know they don't. They don't look like they've been done any Okay, no. well, whatever. I give her her little $20. Okay, that she says I give her, but she's not counting the monies that she goes and take out of my wallet. Your Honor, well, uh, be quiet, Miss Matt. Can I talk? I want to talk about how much you okay, give her. And she's not counting the money that I leave on the breakfast table every morning. How much do you leave? I leave, a, Turn out. I leave her at least fifteen or twenty dollars, Your Honor. Ten to fifteen dollars to twenty dollars every day when I leave out the work. I leave out the work every day at six a.m. in the morning. If you give her twenty dollars a week for herself, how much do you give her to buy groceries? Your Honor, she buys the grocery. Okay, how much do you give her for clothing for the children? Okay, Your Honor, I give her for clothing for the children. I give her at least thirty dollars every check. And how many checks you get? Okay, I get four checks. Thirty dollars every check for four children. Yes, that's a lot of money. Yes, and I don't make a lot of money. And of all the what claim he's given me that I'm taking. Miss Mack, I ask you to be quiet. It's not your turn. Yana, Yana, if I do that, I have to do a lot of overtime. And I do overtime just to provide for my family because I don't want to see my... So how much money do you make in the course of a month? In the course of... Well, I get paid about a week, Your Honor. All right, then I'll figure it out by the month. Okay, yes, Tell me by the week. I make at least $310 a week. So since you've been separated... You got a paycheck stuff. Yes, I have them too. Here you go. Let me see. That's the ones I couldn't find. Here you go. Well, I hope the stubs are all the same. That's not counting 40 hours a week, Your Honor. And you add it up. You do the math, please. I, that's what I'm going to do. I thank you for your, uh, uh, your permission to do the math. But now, 
your weekly pay is three fifty by your own paycheck for forty hours. I don't need to do the math. I can read. Okay. Not including overtime and vacation and other pay, but it's your regular three fifty a week. You wasn't trying to pull one on no, me. Just no, no, yeah, I and never. Not on like you. So are you paying? A week. I'm looking and at I that too. And I also pay child support for other children that I your have. Your Honor, on. they too are. They grown men, Your Honor. Now you saying that you're paying child support for another child? I have three other children besides that. Three? Mine. Yes, your I do. So wait a minute. So what's your excuse for those three? That woman took off the condom too? No, Your Honor. They about three different women. So they all took off the condom, too. He had two of them pregnant at the same time. No, it's not true. So no. you have three other children. Yes, I do. And you're paying support for them? Yes, I am. You, you got are some, 18. You have some proof? You have it you there. It says, they just, I used to pay out of pocket. They just, stuck, they just start taking it out of my check. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. You invited me to be a mathematician. And I accepted your offer. And I did just that. And an update on the case of Gloria Montoya versus Robert Castillo. I wanted to prove that he no longer loved me. She didn't want to take it to the fullest extent. And I told her, take it to where you can have his pants off. Woo! Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court returns as Andre testifies about how much money he already spends on his children. So what are you providing for these four children by your wife? Hey, John, I don't have proof for them because they're not garnishing my check, but I pay out of pocket really every week, Your How Honor. How much? I can't give you a amount, Your Honor, well, because I just... Well, you better hurry up and try to give me one. Because I just give it to her, Your Honor. She asked me, the kids need this or the How kids need that. How much do you that. give her every week, Mr. Matt? I would say, Your Honor, for the kids, I would give her at least $40 a week. For the kids to get them what they need, not supporting pampers. All of my children are still in pampers except for one. Forty dollars a week, forty dollars a week for four children. That doesn't go very far. Doesn't go very far. But now, before you told me you were giving up fifteen to twenty dollars a day. That's what I give her on the table. That's not, that's not counting what I come home and give her on payday, Your Honor. And you I give her more on payday. I get $20. On, Your, Your Honor, I give her her little $20 on payday for herself, not counting counting what I leave on the breakfast table every morning. Every single day. Every morning, faithfully, right. Your Honor. I don't know why you're complaining, Ms. Mack. I don't know neither. Because you only asked me for $500. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Mack, according to my calculations, because you told me to do the math, not on this issue, but you invited me to be a mathematician. <laughs> and I accepted your offer. And I did just that. And according to my math, you're giving up almost $700 a month to Mrs. Matt voluntarily. So I know you won't have a problem at all giving it according to my order. And that's the order. Court's adjourned. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Gloria Montoya versus Robert Castillo. He's rubbing his hand on her. I come out of the closet and I said, bust it. Joe, you better give her an application for your team. <laughs> Closed captioning for Divorce Court, provided by... Are you involved in a dispute with a neighbor, friend, relative, or business person? To appear before a real judge on a new court show, call 877-777-0099. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Gloria Montoya said her marriage to Robert ended after she spied on him and caught him cheating on her. What? You were playing detective? I wanted to prove that he no longer loved me. She didn't want to take it to the fullest extent. And I told her, take it to where you can have his pants off. Ooh. He's walking in the house with a 12-pack in one hand and a rose in another hand. And I'm in the closet hiding. He's rubbing his hand on her. I come out of the closet and I said, bust it. Joe, you better give her an application for your team. <laughs> so you got an offer and you didn't refuse it. I'm only human, Your Honor. In court, the judge denied Gloria's request for child support for their sons because Gloria and Robert both claimed to have custody of the boys. Gloria says she and her boyfriend are selling their condo and buying a bigger home because her sons live with them during the week and they need more room. Robert has their sons every weekend and says he loves their time together. 
Robert is also dating again and says meeting new women has given him new respect for his relationship with Gloria. How I feel about the verdict? I love the verdict because I asked for 500, she gave me seven because of his lies. I think the judge, the judge's decision wasn't very fair to me because I do give Veronica what she asked for. Only thing I didn't get to say is, women, when y'all see this man come and run because he's cheap, 